In this short video, let's begin by looking at alignment in cells. You can align with data in various ways during the creation process or, as we have here, after the table has been created. To align text horizontally, click in any cell or select several cells or columns in which you wish to align data and use the horizontal alignment buttons on the format bar. So for example, let's right align all of these cells. Just click right align and the cells jump over. Let's center this cell and it positions itself in the center of the cell. To align text vertically, that is to control its vertical position in the cell, you click in the cell or select the cells and then you click the top, center or bottom vertical alignment buttons on the table toolbar. So let's select this cell and center it vertically. Again, let's demonstrate bottom, but we'll put it up to center to match. And again, vertical center. Now, of course, this only has effect if you have a row that is more deep than a single row, otherwise it just won't show. For example, I could make this center align and it looks just the same because there is no no vertical space for it to move in. So in addition to aligning data in the cells, either horizontally or vertically, we can also apply custom tables, table borders and custom shading. By default, as you see here, tables will appear with one half point border lines. Changing the line characteristics of cell borders and adding shading to cells are effective ways to emphasize data. You can modify the line style, the color, and the width of borders around the whole table, around an individual cell, or around groups of cells. If you entirely remove the borders, the outlines of the cell will still be shown by non-printing gray grid lines, which can be an easy way to set up data in a document without making the use of a table obvious. Let me show that. Let me select the table, come to Table Properties, click Borders, and click Set No Borders, and click OK. Now we see that instead of the black lines, we have these gray lines. And if I go to Print Preview and zoom in, you see that the outlines of the cell don't show, and it just looks like text that's easily lined up, but the fact that it's got a table format is not apparent. However, quite often we do want to use the, the cell borders, and for that we'll go back to the border tab. In order to precisely manage cell borders, you must select the portion of the table you want to work with very carefully. You can select portions of the table in two ways. One of those is to hover your mouse pointer and get the heavy black selection arrow. So for example, here, we'll select the column by clicking. Here, we'll select the row by clicking. Here, we'll select the table by clicking. Of course, we can also go to table select row or table select column or just drag to select cells. Or of course, table select the entire table. To highlight a single cell, there is no selection pointer. We don't see the heavy black arrow that selects the cell. The best way to be absolutely sure that you've got the cell selected is to use the table select cell command when you see the entire cell in blue, which is different from selecting the text within the cell. You see here we have the text selected, but not the cell itself. Watch the change in the, for, in the selection. 
and you see the blue highlighting now is the entire cell not just the text within it that's really important so once you've selected the portion of the table you want to format then we go to the table properties button and the borders tab let me select the whole table and we'll go there and come to the borders tab the Borders tab of the Table Properties dialog box gives very precise control over the table and cell borders. The Cells grid in the Line Arrangement section previews the borders you're about to set. The Line Style and the Color allows you to choose the style and color of your line. If you're working with a border for the entire table, you can also choose a Shadow, Style and Color. You can also control how far away from the contents the borders will go. So first I'm going to say we're going to set an outer border only. Notice we have set no borders, set outer border, outer border and horizontal lines, all of the borders, or use a set outer border without changing the inner lines. I'm going to set outer border only. I'm going to choose, let's choose this double and I'll set it to turquoise and I'll put a shadow to the bottom right and I'll make it light green. So we've outlined the entire table in a turquoise double line with a light green shadow. So let's click OK and we see that we do not have any inner lines. The borders of the cells in, uh, interior to the table are not defined. Those are just the non-printing grid lines but we have a table border. Let me show you that in print preview. And there you see just the outline to the table. Once you've got the outside border of the table the way you like it, you can then begin to work on individual interior borders. So let's select the title row and come back to the borders tab. Now click on the bottom row, we don't want the, the vertical, just the horizontal. Select that and we'll choose brown, two and a half points. I'm going to deselect that and now we just have the brown border added to the selection. And let's click OK. And there we have just the brown border for the selection. Notice we left intact the borders around the top and the sides, we just added the top and the bottom border. Now I'll select this row, come back to Table Properties. Now I'm going to click here and here. I want to deselect that, but I want to have selected this and this and not that. I'm holding down shift to select both items. Now I'm going to choose a thin line and I'm going to make it something that will stand out. Mm, yellow, will that stand out? No. Let's try something different. Magenta should stand out a little bit thinner than that. Okay, there we go. And by putting a magenta above and below what I did was I put I put, I delineated the bottom of the May 1st dates now I'll do that again here and I'm going to try edit redo and it won't give it to me darn wouldn't that have been the easy way never mind back we come and we click here and I shift click here then I'm going to click to deselect I don't want that I just want it kind of takes a bit of persnicketying. Maybe it wouldn't if I was even better at this, but I'm not. There. And I want magenta. One point, no, half a point. And not that one. There. Now we have magenta top and bottom. And that's what we want. Now we have the magenta outlining the three days. Okay, so that's working with borders. 
as you see, in order to work effectively with borders, you need to go back and forth, make sure you're getting it in the right place. And if you don't succeed the first time, just try again. You will get it. The help files are quite um, illustrative for this. They're quite, there's a quite a clear explanation. I just want to show you one more thing. I'm going to select this row, come to Table Properties, and go to Background. And let's put a gray background underneath and below the titles. And let's put a pale magenta background if we have one. Mm, what about that one? And here. It's colorful, isn't it? Oops, I did a slightly different one. Let me just match this. This magenta four there. Okay, so that's coloring in the cell. There is one more thing I want to show you, and we'll do that in a different table.